All right, y'all, let's talk about Rock Nation versus Young Money. So it was just announced that Kendrick Lamar is due to headline next year's Super Bowl halftime show. And that's got the internet divided as to if Jay-Z got a problem with people over there at Young Money or if this was just a good business decision because Kendrick Lamar is kind of hot right now. Well, I'm here to break it all down and give you a timeline of events. When it comes to Jay-Z and people over there at Cash Money, Young Money, he has had a problem with them for years now. Jay-Z and Birdman don't have the best relationship. Jay-Z did try to take Lil Wayne as an artist from Birdman a couple years back, but Lil Wayne stayed loyal to Cash Money and Young Money. So that's just one thing I want to put out here. On an executive level, Birdman and Jay-Z are not friends. When it comes to Lil Wayne and Drake and Nicki, Lil Wayne has had, again, a beef with uh, Jay-Z before. You know, them two have taken shots at each other in lyrics before. We know this stuff, but like the kidnapping and the baby money lyrics, you know, I'm going to put that in the video so y'all can see, but that's been an issue in the past. And I know that supposedly they made, they made up, but it's like Jay-Z one of people where you'll think everything good, but everything really ain't good. Now, I want to talk about Drake because this is what this is really about. So when it comes to Drake, uh, Kanye did reveal that him and Jay-Z teamed up to do Watch the Throne because they felt like Drake was such a threat. And he was a threat and he still is a threat because Drake has surpassed a lot of people's numbers. Like he really do got the numbers. He really is selling. He really is talented. You don't got to like the guy, but you can't dispute his talent and his numbers and his legacy. Same as Nicki Minaj. And I'm going to get on that. I'm going to tie this in. So Jay-Z has definitely always had an issue with Drake. And this whole situation with Kendrick Lamar, I've been telling you guys as well. Kendrick was approached by some record label people to get into a beef with Drake. And it's starting to come off like some of those record label people were people from Atlantic and or Rock Nation. And just follow me here. I'm not saying Kendrick Lamar isn't a big artist. He is a big artist. He does have Grammys. He does have a Pulitzer Prize. But is he that popular or mainstream? No. He's known for making more conscious music. And again, he does have popular music. But his music is more for the conscious crowd, for the woke crowd. So he's not as known for pop hits or even mainstream rap hits, again, as a Drake, as a Wayne you know, shit, even as um, like a J. Cole, like he's not really known for that. And so with all of this stuff with the not like us, just catch out. They made it such a catchy beat and, you know, they just really hyped the song up. The song has got a lot of play. Every time you turn around, they're playing not like us because this was a direct shot at Drake trying to take Drake's career down. The fastest way to take somebody's career down, they did this with Michael Jackson. The fastest way to take somebody's career down is to get them involved with PDF file allegations, if you catch what I'm saying. See what I'm saying? Once you start involving children, you know, and all of that, people start to look at somebody different. That's the same thing, again, even with Nicki Minaj. When the industry wants to tarnish you, they did this with Michael, R. Kelly, and I'm not saying that these people are innocent. I'm just saying that this is the industry. Everybody is involved with um, moving young people place to place, and everybody is involved with young people in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But when they start to reveal that to the public, that's the way that the industry turns against its artist. So with the Not Like Us song getting so much play, getting so much press and promo, it was obviously them trying to come for Drake and like really mess with his place in pop culture and his place in rap. So just peep that because I've been saying, notice how Kendrick Lamar, oh, all of a sudden he got him a $40 million house and now he going to the Super Bowl and you know what I'm saying? Now he's completely leveled up on the pyramid after beefing with Drake. Just how Nikki was telling people, 
you know, they signing these girls to beef with me. And this is just proof that, again, that really happens. There are labels who will put money behind you to do their dirty work. So I've always believed that was the real premise of Kendrick having an issue with Drake is because the industry wants to take Drake down, particularly people over there at Rock Nation. Because again, Drake has surpassed Jay-Z's numbers a long time ago. And again, them two have thrown shots at each other before. Like when Drake was mentioned in the U chain and all of that, that you haven't been hot since Usher had a U chain, all of that. Like this has been going on. So just catch that. And now again with uh, Kendrick going to Lil Wayne's hometown to perform what? Not like us. That is a direct shot at everybody over there at Young Money. Because we all know that Lil Wayne should be as the most commercially mainstream and successful artist out of New Orleans. He would have been the perfect pick, or the yes, the perfect pick to um, headline the Super Bowl. It would have made sense. He could have bought out Master P. You know, unfortunately, Mystical is in jail, but he could have bought out Juvenile. Again, the rest of the guys from the Hot Boys, like, he really could have bought out a lot of successful, you know, New Orleans artists. He definitely would have bought out Nicki. He might have bought out Drake. Drake be acting like he don't like people over there at Young Money anymore. But he would have definitely put on a show and Jay-Z couldn't have that. So that goes to show, yes, this is a direct shot. What continues to solidify that it's a direct shot to everybody over there at Young Money, the entire Young Money camp as a whole, is because Megan Thee Stallion is going to be hosting the VMAs in Nicki Minaj's hometown of Queens. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Nicki is from Queens. Nicki and Megan have beef. Again, who signed Megan? Jay-Z. What has Nicki been saying? Just how they signed Cardi B so she could try to shake up Nicki Minaj's place in rap. They also signed Megan so she could try to beef with Nicki and shake up her place. Like there's, you know, again, real corporate giants who be out here, you know, ordering hits on people. And so it makes perfect sense that, oh yeah, you know, we're going to have Megan perform his, another diss song in your hometown. So I'm just saying, just peep game with this stuff. Like we're not making everything up when we say like, you know, again, people over there at Rock Nation really be out here doing dirty work, him and Desiree Perez, Jay-Z and Desiree Perez. And, you know, they really got an issue with people over there at Young Money. So I just wanted to do a quick breakdown of this and really tell you guys, this is not just business. This is industry, politics, and beef. Let's talk in the comments.